The following program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters. Thanks for tuning in. Let's Talk Beauty. I am your host, Sharon Parent, owner of Green Envy Salon and Spa. Today we're going to have a little fun uh, conversation with Wendy Quinn. She um, does awesome vacation packages. So thanks for coming on my show, Wendy. I know we kind of scrambled this at last mm -hmm. minute. We had a cancellation, but everything happens for a reason. Absolutely. Thanks for coming on. So what is the company that you, what are you involved with? Well, I am a Cruise Planners franchise owner. Okay. It's an American Express representative, American Express travel representative as well. So despite the name, it is not just cruises. So it's land vacations, cruise vacations, all-inclusive resorts, um, you name it, I can book. Okay. So how long have you been doing that? Um, for cruise planners, I have had my franchise for about a year and a half. Okay. But I've been in the travel industry off and on for over 25 years. Yeah. So you th I would assume it's changed in your opinion from the last 25 years. A lot of people, like we just recently booked a vacation. We booked it online mm -hmm. or we book it through AAA or whatever. Right. But back in the day, everybody would go, you know, to a travel. You mm -hmm. would see like stores and plazas, yep. travel agencies mm -hmm. and stuff like that. The industry has changed a lot. Um, I think... I think you're going to find um, people are going to be coming back to travel agents because the internet is fantastic. And when it first came out, I think it was a, a fantastic tool mm -hmm. for research. Yeah. But now there's so much on the internet. I yeah. think for a lot of people, it can be overwhelming. Mm -hmm. And I think if you have an idea of what you want, you can find the information. But a lot of people don't know what they want mm. or they've saved their money and they want to go on that one great vacation and they want to talk to somebody and they want to make sure they're getting a good value. Right. So I think in that aspect, I, I think travel agents are a great, great resource. Yeah. And I, I think so too. I mean, um, there are so many options, like, how do you know, how do you know, how do you mm -hmm. know, you know, have you stayed there before? Or, you know, you try to go by maybe your friends or your family that have gone to right. a certain location before. Um, but we are going to Cancun, Mexico. I've been to Mexico. This yep. will be my third time, but oh, never to actually Cancun. So it's true. There's so many different um, resorts. You just hope, especially with all-inclusive, you get mm -hmm. a good deal. You just hope that you're getting a good right. thing. Right, right. Um, so you do it all. You do cruises. You do land. Mm -hmm. um, so how can you compare from when you were doing it over the last 25 years to now? Now there's, like you said, there's a lot of information on the internet, but I do think we're finding um, people want to experience their vacations. I think um, voluntourism, where people go away and they volunteer, is something that's getting popular. And people now want to go away and they want to continue their lifestyle mm -hmm. in some ways. Um, wellness travel is becoming popular. I think it, it's something that's going to be growing. It's, okay. a, it's a, a niche that's going to evolve. Um, a lot of the cruise lines are implementing new programs. Um, Celebrity just brought on Canyon Ranch for some of their spa services. They are including healthy food options. Um, they don't have the midnight buffets anymore. It's not about excess eating and drinking anymore. Mm -hmm. So people who want a healthy lifestyle, they have options for them as well. So the cruise lines you are, you're saying are just offering, are they offering like kind of, a, kind of a wellness package or they're just doing, so they're doing away with the buffets completely, certain well, cruise most lines? Most of them are, yeah. Most of them have, have done away with the buffets, um, at the, the midnight buffets. The midnight, yeah. But they still I'm have. I'm sleeping by midnight, so <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> they do have um, maybe one night a week they have the, um, chocolate festival or something like that, something mm -hmm. very, something more unique, something that's going to set them apart or something that is a special night or a special evening mm -hmm. um, versus the all you can eat. Because I don't think people 
want to just go and eat and eat and eat and they come back from their vacation feeling like they need another vacation. Yeah. Or they're starting their health routine all over again. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the real goal, I think, or for most people, is you go away on your vacation and you want to enjoy it and you want to relax and, right. and come back feeling like you've been on vacation and, and rejuvenated. Mm -hmm. Whereas, you know, you go and you have excess and, and you come back and you don't feel that way. Right. And I think it's, you know, a lot of people want to maybe try the culture, you know, mm -hmm. what kind of food, where are we going? So we're going to a cruise and whatever destination, you know, stop right. that you have along the way. You want to try what their delicacies are and, and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I've been on one cruise, mm -hmm. one cruise only. <laughs> and, um, you know, it was a couple of years ago and I just wanted something that I didn't want to have a ton of stops. So we stopped and St. Thomas, St. Martin, um, and Nasa Bahamas. Mm -hmm. And it was, it was nice. Um, a lot of food. But as I find it's, I, I wasn't that impressed with the food actually. Right. I, you know, people are like, what are you crazy? The food on the cruise ships yeah. are so awesome and la la la. And I'm like, not always. I didn't think not so. Not always. I think that's, it's, sometimes it can be a hit or miss. Mm -hmm. Depends on the cruise line. Um, and it depends on what you're looking for. You know, people have different tastes, and some people don't want to try new things, mm -hmm. and and some people have their favorite foods, but it doesn't necessarily taste like your mother's yeah, or exactly. something like that. Yeah, <laughs> so, we're, we're, yeah. You, we're used to our own mac and cheese or <laughs> right, our own right. burgers or pizza, and when you go on cruises or destinations, right. you're like, oh, it just doesn't taste the yeah. same, you like know? My, my kids, you know, you go and they make the homemade mac and cheese, and my kids are like, oh, what is this? Because they love the craft. Yeah, you know they would rather have the the box made than the yep. than the um, you know the fancy stuff. So mm -hmm. it really is. I think it's personal preference. But with the cruise lines as well, um, there's a number of specialty dining restaurants. So you can always find something. I think that you would enjoy. Yeah, I did that too, and I did enjoy um, that. You know, when you mm -hmm. sign up, you can sign up for so many restaurants. Whatever right. depends on the package you get. Right. Um, you know, I did enjoy that. Um, so, so that was good. I think they're kind of gear you more towards sometimes that is actually is better than what you're going to get on the buffet, but most people have to pay extra. In some cases, yeah. 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 A lot of times the cruise lines will offer promotions and mm -hmm. that you can get, you know, one or two specialty dining options or complimentary gratuities or something like that. Right. But it, it's something really to take a look at. Um, even when you're, you're choosing your cruise, mm -hmm. um, even an all-inclusive resort, what other restaurants do they offer? Right. So in that, you know, if you're concerned about the food or, you know, in the buffets, then knowing that you have other restaurant choices mm -hmm. is really helpful. Have you booked anything on the new cruise line? Uh, I think it's a Royal Caribbean with the big open back. I haven't. I, I haven't, mean, it supposedly oh. has like a huge mall in there. Yeah. And Royal Caribbean has just been... And I've never been on a Royal Caribbean. My husband has many, many years ago. Mm -hmm. We went on, oh, what cruise line did we go on? I'm having a brain cramp now. How long ago was it? It was um, two years ago. The new, it was a newer ship. Norwegian? Maybe. Norwegian. Okay, the Breakaway maybe? It wasn't the Breakaway. It had the big orange girl. The Escape? Maybe. I'm not sure. Yeah, one of yeah, those. One it of was those. a new one. <laughs> and, I mean... You have your entertainment, mm -hmm. but they had one pool, unless right. you paid extra for a VIP right. pool somewhere yep. else. And to me, it was like, all right, we go to the pool or we gamble. Well, I don't gamble. Right. So for me on that cruise line, I didn't. I know I didn't want to have a lot of stops and lots to do, but I mean, I definitely could have used more mm -hmm. options on the on the ship. Right. So I think that's a lot of people's fear um, is that. They're going to be stuck on the ship, and that it's not going to be a lot to do. Mm -hmm. And again, you got to look at the ship. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I think now people are looking at what the ship offers mm -hmm. versus the ports. It's equally important because, yeah. especially the time that you're spending on the ship. Mm -hmm. um, so that it's really, you know, especially if there's kids or multi generational travel, you got to have something that everybody's going to enjoy. Mm -hmm. So you need the, the slides for the kids, the gambling for the adults, and the trivia or the bingo for right. 
for others, mm -hmm. you know. So there's a, there's a wide range of activities now on, on the bigger ships, and I think that's why they're they're building them so large because yeah. now they can accommodate yeah, more and offer more. Mm -hmm. I mean, so. I I saw the commercial for that ship, and where I wasn't really all into going on another cruise because of my last experience, I'm like, all right, maybe if I get mm -hmm. a group of people yeah. to go on that cruise, it looks like a lot of fun, and it's so amazing on how big these things are. They are huge. Like they're huge. The hi, new ones are. How are you doing? Yeah. Like it's like endless, and that one is even a lot mm -hmm. bigger than right. the one I went on. Right. Yeah. So they, it's they're just getting bigger and bigger. It's like how does it float? I know. It's I so know, it's big. Crazy. <laughs> I mean, I had you know because you know people years ago like oh, I went on a cruise many years ago, but I got so sick. I'm like I you didn't feel nothing. Right. Like I right. didn't feel anything. I didn't have to take anything. Mm -hmm. It was awesome because they're so big now. So have you been on a lot of cruises? I actually haven't. I've been on two. Okay. Um, a Norwegian out of Boston a yeah. long time ago Yeah. with my kids before I was went back into the travel industry and Celebrity okay. to Bermuda, which was fantastic. Yeah. We went with another family. Mm -hmm. So the kids were off doing their their things and, and parents were, were out doing their thing and we, we had a blast. We so you took both time. of them out of Boston? Both cruises or? The Norwegian was out of Boston. Celebrity was out of New Jersey. Oh, okay. So, which was really convenient. Mm -hmm. And I think it's definitely worth doing. Yeah. Um, take it's four hours. Yeah, it's There's not a bad. place to park. It's easy. Mm -hmm. You can go down, you know, the morning of and you're back the same day when you, after you dock. Yeah. Um, very convenient. So you could do New Jersey or the New York, mm -hmm. um, either one of those. And it was a, we stayed three, three nights four nights in Bermuda, and it was a lot of fun because the ship acted as your hotel. Right. So you could get up, have your breakfast. You had the convenience of being at an all-inclusive, like an all-inclusive resort, yeah. and then you were off for the day. Mm -hmm. And you could do excursions. You could go explore on your own. Um, one day, the guys stayed back at the, the ship, and... and um, the girls went to the beach. Mm -hmm. So it was really, you know, you could go off and do it. And I think if you go as a group or you go with another family, yeah, then the options for entertainment and everything is open because mm -hmm. you're not just the two of you, oh, what do right. you want to do? It's like, oh, well, this person wants to go here. I'll go with them and, yeah. and everything. The kids kids take off and they find their own thing. And, yeah. and you know they're not going anywhere. Right. Yeah, I remember when I went on my cruise, we stopped in St. Martin, St. Thomas, like we hit every jewelry store known to man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and let me tell you, every single one of them, my husband's a bargain guy. Oh, okay. Yeah. And um, so and on and on and on and on, we spent our whole time just like going on all these jewelry stores. And I'm not a shopper. I'm not like a big bling I'm bling kind of gal. But um, so then we did all that. And I said to him, I said, when we go to Bahamas, no, Nassau, Bahamas, I go, we are not going in one jewelry store. <laughs> we are beaching it. Yeah. Because I had been on vacation. I hadn't had my feet in the sand at all. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. That would so be. I'm like, we are going to the beach, and that's exactly what we did. And how, how gorgeous and beautiful. I mean, all these different places were very nice, you know. Mm -hmm. But, oh, St. Martin's really, that you really have to get your jewelry there, right. you know, because it's so much cheaper, and which is true. Um, and St. Thomas was definitely more... Um, Upgraded, I would say, yeah. you mm -hmm. know, than St. Martin. Right. And then um, from what I saw from Nassau, Bahamas, it was, it was fine, but we definitely, we were, our feet were in the sand was, for that. Were, it was time. We were yeah. in the sand. <laughs> yeah. So how many vacations have you and your family experienced throughout the years since you've been doing oh, travel? Gosh. A lot? Um, you know, I was, I had stayed home with my kids. Mm -hmm. So when they were young, we did some trips. Um, now that I've gotten back into travel, my kids are older. Right. So we haven't done too, too many. We've done a couple cruises. We've done a couple all-inclusive resorts, Punta mm -hmm. Cana. Um, so we've done a lot, but now my daughter's on the, I want to go on my own. She's 17, going to mm -hmm. be 18 soon, mm -hmm. going off to college. She's like, I want to go backpack through Europe. And, really? And, yeah. She's yeah. very adventurous. Yeah. And you know, I talk about going on a cruise or going to the Caribbean and, She's like, no, I want to go. I want to go to Europe. I yeah. want to go. So she has the uh, the adventurous spirit. Where my husband and my son, they're not as adventurous. Mm -hmm. So, um, but we've done Punta Cana. Yeah. Jamaica. I went there. Punta Cana. Yeah. 
Was it kind of last year? Okay. I got deathly ill. Oh, no. Mm. No. I haven't gotten sick anywhere, knock on wood. I've never gotten sick. Yeah. I don't know what it was, but... I've, I'm all set with going back. When you have an experience yeah. like that, you're like, oh, okay, nope, no, nope, never nope. again. <laughs> yeah, no. And um, that's where I think it's really important on the type of resorts that you stay at. Absolutely. Because I've stayed at, you know, well, got a really good deal here, spent a lot, lot, you know, not a lot more money, but spent more money on, okay, over here on this resort, mm -hmm. and literally, what a difference. Right. That's, what that's, a difference. Yep. That's really something that, again, you know, looking on the internet, you see a great price, but the lowest price isn't always the best value. No, I and, agree, yeah. yeah. And that's something that, you know, as a travel agent, we continually do um, workshops, seminars, all different trainings. So um, you can come to us and you ask us, and we're familiar. Even if we haven't been to a location, mm -hmm. we have probably sat through a presentation. Um, I've been to on two sandals trips, workshops. Um, so we're familiar with the resorts, what they offer, and we can tell you, you know, that is a good price, but we haven't got a lot of positive experience with that. Right. Or, um, you know, this is, this, they're running a promotion and it's a great price because they offer this, this, and this. Mm -hmm. Whereas you're looking online and it's a price and they have a list of things and you're hoping, you're hoping that it's... Mm -hmm. It's true. Yeah, my husband so. booked this one, so we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> he'll get, he'll be in trouble if it's not where good. You, where are you staying? <laughs> the Jade something oh, okay. in Cancun. Yeah, I think, yeah. Yeah. I haven't, I haven't reserved anybody there, booked anybody there, but um, I mean, it looks beautiful. I've heard great things about Reviews it, yeah. are nice. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, so we kind of we're just kind of going with it. Yeah, you're on vacation. So. You're on vacation. Yep. Yeah. So what I was just thinking when we were talking, the thing is. That's what I would think because dealing with triple A mm -hmm. on a few of my big. I actually used to work for triple A. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I would say, hey, you know, Teddy, you know, what do you think about this? Well, I don't know. I've never been there. You know, but she's been all over mm -hmm. the place. Right. Most travel agencies have that opportunity right. or mm -hmm. they take the opportunity. Yes, absolutely. To travel. So uh -huh. that would be my assumption is that, well, where have you been? What do right. you suggest? Right. Um, so it's good that you guys do seminars. Mm -hmm. It may not have to go somewhere. We try as much as possible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. What's your next um, destination that you would like to go? Um, my next destination, I'd like to go to St. Lucia. I've mm -hmm. actually been there, but I went on a sandals trip. So we were toward the resorts and didn't yep. really get to see any of the island. Mm -hmm. and it's absolutely gorgeous. Yep. Uh, it looks beautiful. There's a lot to see. From the beach you sit on the beach and you see the mountains and the beautiful blue water and that's unusual to see mountains yes when you go to a yeah. i haven't seen that yeah you know no, it's gorgeous saint john i, I definitely want to go see mm -hmm. saint croix here those are really beautiful right beautiful places it's just amazing how we live here in new england we have beautiful places here i mean i love the fall i mm -hmm. love i love the seasons less and less with the winter Oh, yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> um, I, I wish it could happen just for the month of, I'll take December and January, mm -hmm. you know, but that's that's about all I Just a really, taste of it. And yeah, that's just enough. the holidays, kind of get yeah. you going, and then after that, you can go away. Um, but it's just amazing how you can fly to these poor countries and stay at this beautiful, beautiful right. resort and what they've done to it. And then you drive outside, mm -hmm. you know, a few miles down the road, and it's like, it is, yeah. Wow. But you, in the flip side of that, tourism brings in a lot of money right. to those islands. Mm -hmm. um, sandals, I go back to Sandals because I, I love them as a company, but they have the Sandals Foundation. So in every island that they have resorts, they give back to their community. They nice. encourage, in, in a lot of the properties, a lot of the resorts do, there's an organization called Pack for a Purpose. Mm -hmm. So when you go on vacation, you can bring um, school supplies, sports equipment, anything like that, and you can bring them. There's hotels and re different resorts that will collect them and, and distribute them to um, the schools, the communities. So they're really, even though they have these big elaborate hotels, they're not neglecting. Right. The, the community. Mm -hmm. They do give back and they do as much as they can. And they do 
supply jobs mm -hmm. for them because you can't, like, I couldn't go to Jamaica and work. Yeah. They, you know, you open a resort and they, they hire locally unless yeah. there's a position that, you know, upper top management that they may get from other countries. All, all their staff is local. Yeah. So even though you walk out the resort, which it is unfortunate, um, they are providing a lot for the Yeah, and patient. you can, well, you can see when you go to, whether it be, well, it's funny because this is what I, we'll get back to the resorts, say, say like Mexico or whatever. Mm -hmm. But when I went on the cruise line, I was shocked. Now, I'm, I'm taking the cruise from Miami. Right. Out of Miami, back to Miami. Not one American working on that cruise ship. Well, the cruise ships are registered in different countries. Yeah. So they have a certain level of service, mm -hmm. and they're trained. Yeah. They, the people, they train them to a certain standard, mm -hmm. depending on where they're registered. So I think there's, you find a lot of the entertainers yeah. can be, will be from the U.S., Yeah. but the service is a certain level that, right. that they require. Mm -hmm. And um, and they work there. They're, and they I mean, train. And, yeah, they work. Well, I, I mean, one person, I think one gentleman has worked on the cruise line for 10 mm -hmm. years. The, how, how is that even possible? I know. I know. You're, 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 you're working more of the cruise line than you are going to be at mm -hmm. home. It's like half the year, exactly. if not sometimes could be more. Right. And you're away from your family. Mm -hmm. And... Um, it was just interesting. It's always interesting to meet people, whether it's on a cruise or going to, you know, an island and stuff like that. They work around the clock all day right. long. They're lucky if they have one day off. Yeah. And, and they're, but they're, you know, if you go to an all-inclusive, they're so grateful for that mm -hmm. job. Yeah. And they work. Some of them will, you know, it takes them two hours to get to work. Mm hmm And they are so grateful for that. Oh, yeah. I mean, they're yeah. super nice. And, you know, here they learn they're, they're they're in the pool and they're they're having fun because they're living the life too. Exactly. You know they may exactly. be working, but I'm, it's a fun job. It is. You it know, is. So, they, they enjoy themselves. Yeah, yeah. they're. <laughs> oh, let's do a shot, or you know, me if they can. Some you know some resorts mm -hmm. are different, or you know they're in the pool and they're doing this activity. They're playing volleyball with like right. a bunch of people right. and they're doing this and that. So it's kind of like it's it's nice to see and they're very nice, and the shows. You know, and the fun kind of like costumes and their right. culture and, and all right. that. Entertaining. It's like, wow, I'm getting paid to entertain, to come here yeah. and entertain you guys. And it's like, they're, they're very nice. And you get to know them and, you know, in a week's time because you see the same people. <laughs> it is. It's really nice. Yeah. And, and they love it. You know, I, I've gone back and, and met some of the same people. Mm -hmm. you, know, you go to a, the same resort again, and they and they remember people. Oh yeah, if you go, because I know people, which I'm sorry, I don't understand this. <laughs> we live in a very, very, very big world. Yes. Okay. Yes, I've gone. I'm, this will be my third time back to Mexico, but I've been stay. This is a different place. Mm -hmm. Right. I've been to Jamaica. I've been to the Dominican. Mm -hmm. Now third time in um, um, Mexico. Mexico. I would never have a desire to go to the same unless, unless I had multiple vacations a year. Right. And I had, you know, a timeshare or something mm -hmm. like that. And I just, you know, I vacationed other islands, but I'm going to go back to this particular right. one because yeah. it's paid for or whatever. Right, right. Yep. I just can't see myself doing yeah. something like that, going to the same place. I know people that go to Aruba every year. I know. I have I know. no desire to go to Aruba for some I reason. Know. Aruba, I don't love. Mm -hmm. People say you either love it or you hate it. Right. And I didn't love it because you, I mean, it's great that it's safe and you can walk out, but I was walking down the beach and a guy was coming back with his Dunkin' Donuts bag and his coffee. I could have been at Hampton Beach. I mean, it was beautiful. There's a Dunkin' Donuts down there? There is a Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> now you'll go. <laughs> no. There's a Dunkin' Donuts on the pier. There's Kentucky Fried Chicken. Well, I'm There's sure it doesn't Wendy's. taste the same. You know, I had to, I went. <laughs> yeah, well, I went of course. for the coffee because it was familiar. And then I said, what, what am I doing? I'm in the Caribbean. Yeah. So. Um, I'm sure it tastes a little different. It, a tiny bit. Yeah. But still, it really, it's, if you want to go on vacation and feel like you're someplace completely mm -hmm. different, Aruba's not the place. Yeah. It's, 
absolutely gorgeous, mm -hmm. but it is very Americanized. Yeah. And oh, that is great for a lot of people who want that comfort level. But if you want to experience something different, um, look at the other islands. And, right. and you have to really, you have to be aware of, of what is around it. Mm -hmm. You know, like you mentioned, the, the poverty. Um, that's in the U.S. We just oh, yeah. don't acknowledge it. We mm -hmm. just don't see it. Mm -hmm. So you have to just be aware of it. Yeah. And, um, and know that it's part of the culture. Yeah. I mean, I definitely would love to travel to, like, Japan and China and mm. do the Orient and all that I kind of stuff. I actually went been to China. Oh, you have? Yeah. It was one of my first trips. Oh, wow. As a travel agent. I was 20 years old. Wow. Yeah. My mother didn't fly. She was petrified of flying. Yeah. And it was a travel agent trip, and my parents dropped me off at the airport with 20 people that I had never met before, and I was going for two weeks. Oh, wow. My mother was a wreck, and I was so <laughs> excited. <laughs> I mean, all I can imagine is, like, billions of people walking all over. Like, all I can imagine is, like, the world of, like, New York City. Oh, it was crazy. It was crowded. It was. But honestly, I was 20 years. I really didn't grasp mm -hmm. where I was. Yeah. I really, it, it was just, it was amazing. It was something that I'd love to go back and do mm -hmm. because I didn't appreciate it then. I was yeah. 20 years old and it yep. was, hey, you have an opportunity to go to China in a month. Right. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. And I took it, but I really didn't have an idea of really what it was. Yeah, and it's funny because today's day and age too, like um, you can, which is pretty cool. I mean, if we all could learn every language, I mean, if I were to ever have to live in China, I would obviously learn the language. Mm -hmm. Just like if I had to live in Mexico, I would learn the language. Right. You know what I mean? But um, it's cool with the cell phones now. Cause they see yes. people yep. translating, translating and, through mm -hmm. their phones. I mean, that is so cool. It opens up a lot. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's kind of scary about where the technology is and where it's going. Like, I have a three-and-a-half-year-old granddaughter. I can't even imagine what life is going to be like in 20 years, mm -mm. you know. It, I know. I'll be 66 <laughs> years. My stomach's growling. Oh, it's lunchtime. Yeah, I'm not think about lunchtime. that. <laughs> um, so, yeah, the te technology is, is a little scary and overwhelming sometimes. Mm -hmm. but It is. It is. But it's hopeful it. in, in it many is. ways mm -hmm. if, if you use it properly. Yeah, sometimes I get really frustrated. I just want to pick up the computer and, yeah. I don't know how to figure this yep. out. I can't yep. figure this out. But I, I, I can. I just need to, like, take two steps back sometimes and be like, all right, relax. Yeah, it's, it's not it's, that. You can get yeah. through it. You can figure this out. Yep. Yep. No problem. Or I'll be like, call my one of my daughters, like, all right, how do you do this? You know? Just don't bring it on vacation. No, I know. Don't bring it on vacation. Yeah. That's the whole So point. that is already a wrap for today. Are you serious? Can you believe it? <laughs> Wow. So thanks for tuning in. This was a fun conversation, so hopefully you'll enjoy your next destination. Seating program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters.